And the government has put in place measures to fast track the construction of Kari Menu 2 Dam that will see more than 850,000 people in rural Juja and parts of Nairobi benefit, according to the Water, Sanitation and Irrigation Principal Secretary Joseph Irungu. The 23.6 billion shillings project is set to be completed ahead of the stipulated time. Is and more in the county news roundup. At the heart of Gatonde North, Kiambu County, is the ongoing construction of a multi billion Karimeni 2 water dam project. Residents of Ruru, Juja, and parts of Nairobi are set to benefit once phase two of the water dam project is complete. Water Sanitation and Irrigation Principal Secretary Joseph Irongu has pointed out that the government is committed to completing the 23.6 billion project ahead of the stipulated time. To be the contractor, which is, uh, which is June 2022, and we are already in talks with the contractor to have him hasten the works, to bring the works uh, nearer, uh, completion nearer to maybe by two months or so, because uh, everything is now set. We have the requisite resources. We have the, the goodwill of the people, they have allowed us to get into the RAD. And uh, therefore we think this project can be finished uh, uh, maybe two or three months ahead of the scheduled June 2022. In Laikipia County, leaders hailing from various regions have agreed to work together to ensure peace prevails in the country. The development followed a closed-door meeting by Treasury Cabinet Secretary Okori Atani and a section of leaders from the region. The Atani called on elected leaders to spearhead the peace brokering process in their respective regions so as to unite the community. The leaders of the region, we've also failed our people by failing to give leadership or by being proactive in preventing uh, these recurring problems. Problems do occur, but leaders must lead by example and must lead from front. And a family in Ukwala is in pain following the death of an expectant mother and her unborn child as they were waiting for an ambulance to seek specialized care. The woman is reported to have developed birth-related complications while at Ukwala Sub-County Hospital and was referred to Siaya County Referral Hospital. She, however, waited for over six hours for an ambulance before she succumbed. Liana ambulance, ikifika, kisha madakchari, Nadhani walikuwa manefi, wakazungumuza na dereva wa ambulesi, kisha akaondoka. Hapo ndipo nikaingiwa na wasiwasi na kuuliza, iwapo tulikuwa tukisubiri ambulesi, imekuwa vipi, ambulesi imefika na tena ikaanza, ikaondoka, asiku pata jibu. Elsewhere, police in Kitengela are holding two suspects nabbed in possession of ivory valued at 500,000 shillings. In a separate incident, police intercepted two people ferrying 300 kilograms of game meat in Enkori, Kamashuru sub-county. The suspects who were ferrying the game meat on a motorcycle, however, managed to escape arrest. They cannot come to Kitengela to Nitu Kajiando and escape. We are very, very, very harassed and our officers are following them very much. And also the members of the public, I'm, I'm printing with them. Let them give us information. Because when we kill these animals, we are killing our e economy, we are killing our employment, we are killing everything, and we are going to destroy our, our environment. Meanwhile, the Independent Policing Oversight Authority has said the success of the ongoing police reforms hinges largely on transparency and accountability amongst police officers. The chairperson of Vipor, Anne Nokori, said the two, together with enhanced discipline from both the public and the police, were the key to achievement of basic rights and fundamental freedoms for Kenyans. On the other hand, we have the police also. They are the law enforcers who feel that there is the, the, the civilians do not understand them and do not appreciate their work. And we all know the work they do is critically important for the stability of this nation and internal security. Finally, residents of Sekenani in Narok West have been challenged to ditch female genital mutilation in early marriages to enable the girl child to realize her full potential. Area leaders and parents have been urged to instead focus on education to boost development of the region. Tunianza na wasichana wawili, tumeona hawa kona shida mingi hata wanaenda wanaomba kwa duka na wanalala usiku inje. Reporting for Channel One News, I'm Jackie Wambiru.
And family matters is still on tonight. According to the World Health Organization, 8 million lives are lost every year from complications as a result of tobacco use. It is one of the risk factors to the non-communicable diseases such as diabetes, and these are being cited as cause of low immunity and compromised immunity during the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. We are talking matter smoking and COVID-19 tonight on the show. Keep tweeting and talking to us at Purity and as Musel and at KBC Channel Buen News will be having the chairperson for the Kenya Tobacco Control Alliance, Joel Gitali, who is coming up with that discussion. Another break will do when we return. Sports news, family matters and weather forecast. Stay with us. Thank you.